Good evening, gentlemen, and welcome. I uh, just want to take a moment to talk about the periods leading up to the age of exploration, uh, mainly focusing on uh, the Native Americans and the Europeans and what was happening prior to their eventual meet. Uh, beginning with the Native Americans, their ancestors, uh, the Asiatic nomads crossed the Bering Strait roughly around 30,000 years ago. Uh, their descendants then populate and spread out uh, throughout North and South America, uh, and then finally reaching the tip of South America roughly around 7,000 years ago. Uh, from there, they, their descendants then establish uh, very unique cultures. Uh, many uh, complex cultures establishing within uh, Central and South America. Uh, Central America, you have the Olmecs, Aztecs, Mayan. Uh, in South America, you have the Incans. Uh, many of Native American cultures are great examples of human environment interactions. Uh, in Central and South America, uh, the, it's theorized that their complexity was due to uh, their climate and their ability to grow more food, which then allowed for large populations, which allowed for that uh, complex system of governments and complex cultures to, to then flourish. Uh, in North America, you have the Anasazi uh, establishing themselves in southwestern, present-day southwestern United States, around the Arizona uh, Four Corners region. Uh, you have the Mississippian uh, or Cahokia civilization establishing in present-day Ohio. Uh, and then you have the Iroquois uh, claiming dominance in present-day northeastern United States. Uh, with Europe during this time, uh, beginning with the uh, fall of Western Rome, uh, Europe was thrown into a, a period of uncertainty and a very volatile time. You had the establishment of uh, the feudal states. Um, you also had the dominance of the Catholic Church uh, over both government at some points, uh, depending on the area, and also uh, for the culture. Um, roughly around 1300, you then have the uh, rebirth of classical thinking or the Renaissance. Uh, that rebirth brings a very big question that then spurs the uh, cultures and causes them to look outward, and that question is why. Um, that question then leads to the advancements and uh, inventions that uh, then would allow for people to travel uh, both by land and sea a lot easier. Uh, and then, of course, you have Marco Polo and his stories of uh, his time in China and all of his experiences in China, uh, which then cause many merchants and also uh, kings to want to tap into those resources. Uh, so that then spurs the sea traders and sea exploration, uh, led by Prince Henry, the navigator of Portugal. He establishes a navigation school. Uh, and also the help of the design of the caravel and inventions such as the compass uh, then allow for uh, sea trade and sea exploration. Uh, the Portuguese travel south and around the coast of Africa and they establish that uh, sea trade and that connection with the Spice Islands. Um, the Dutch also tap into this, uh, but the Spanish led by Christopher Columbus, uh, then look for that sea, uh, that sea uh, route to Asia um, looking westward. Uh, that then leads to the establishment of uh, and settle or the establishment of the age of exploration in the Americas. Uh, there are also possible discoverers before Columbus, uh, putting up this list again. Uh, of these possible discoverers, only three are correct. Uh, you have to find out which three, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.